Hey there tech fans, today I've got the EcoFlow River 2 Max Portable Power Station. This is a great portable power solution for you to take on your next camping trip, or on a long road trip, or if you're looking for a backup power source for your home in case you lose power this winter. Now as part of this video, I'll explain five important things that you'll want to know about this particular product, starting with the specifications. This unit has 512 watt hours of internal energy that can provide up to 500 watts of external charging and operating capabilities for all your thirsty portable devices. Plus, it can surge to 1000 watts. And that's the first big difference, is that it's got surge protection built in. And that's important because if you plug in something like a drill or a blender or some type of portable cooler that draws a little bit more current when it first turns on, this unit can handle that surge. Other portable power stations on the market have a hard limit on how much power they can deliver, so if you try using a drill in some of those other units, you may pop a breaker. With this one, you're going to be just fine. The unit weighs 13 pounds, 3 ounces, which means it's portable. It's not ultimately portable, but it's got a really nice handle on the back, and I think they did a great job of balancing power and portability in the unit because you'll definitely want that extra energy. In addition to that, the unit provides four different ways to charge it. So you can charge it with an AC kit at home by plugging it into a wall. You can charge it in your car using a DC kit. You can charge it with a solar panel by setting it up outside your tent, drinking in the sunlight, which converts it to DC and charges the unit. You can also charge it through the USB-C port on the front because it's bi-directional. So you have four different ways to add energy. Now, one thing you'll notice about this unit that other portable power stations don't provide is there's no external charging brick. So you're going to plug this directly into an AC outlet in your home because what EcoFlow has done is built that conversion circuit into the unit. Now that does two things for you. Number one, it eliminates that big ugly brick that most other portable power stations use that converts the AC in your home to DC to charge those other power stations. By building it inside the unit, they eliminate that brick. But second and probably more important, it makes it more efficient which means you can fully charge this unit in under 60 minutes. Just think about that. 512 watt hours of internal capacity, fully charged in less than an hour. That's unbelievable compared to other units. A lot of other units that are this size could take five or six hours to charge. So if you're trying to get out the door on your next vacation and you wake up in the morning and you realize, geez, we didn't, we didn't charge that power station. When you plug those other units in, you've got to wait a long time for them to charge. With this one, plug it in, go get a cup of coffee, finish your packing. When you come back, it'll be fully charged. Another feature this product provides which you may not find in other units is charge through capabilities. So when you plug this into the wall, you're not only charging the internal batteries, but you're charging anything that's plugged in on front. So if you plugged in a tablet, a phone, a laptop, anything that's plugged in up front gets charged at the same time the internal batteries do. So it gives you really good efficiency for charging external devices. Let's talk about the battery technology because that's another really important difference between this particular product and others on the market. This unit uses the latest battery chemistry called lithium iron phosphate. Now other portable power stations use lithium polymer technology and they sound similar but they're dramatically different. The lithium polymer technology is older technology and the challenge with LiPo batteries are that they don't handle temperature changes really well so they're not great in hot or cold weather which is exactly where you're going to be if you're camping. They also don't hold the charge as long so you may charge those LiPo batteries on a Monday by Wednesday you're down to 80% of the charge. But the bigger factor is the LiPo cells don't provide a lot of recharge cycles. They limit you to between 3 and 500. Lithium iron phosphate batteries handle temperature changes very well. You can use them in hot weather and cold weather, no issues whatsoever. They hang on to a charge for a very long time. Charge them on a Monday, come back a week later, they'll still be at 100%. But the big difference is the fact that lithium iron phosphate cells provide over 3,000 charge cycles. And if you do the math on that, you could charge this unit once a day, for 10 years of time, which means you're gonna be able to use it a lot longer than a standard lithium polymer cell. So you've got the advanced battery technology built in. So you can charge it four different ways. You've got the great battery technology built in. Once you have that battery charged, how can you use that internal energy to charge and operate external devices? Well, let's start with the AC circuit. On the front of the unit, you'll find four AC ports right there. Two of them are three prong, the other two are two prong. So you can plug anything into those AC ports that you plug in at home. As long as you keep it under that 500 watts, all the way up to 1000 watts, you'll be perfectly fine. So plug in your drills, plug in your blenders, plug in anything you want to charge your laptop to those AC ports in your set. One big difference between this and a lot of other portable power stations is the AC, again, is pure sine wave. And that's important because those other units that use a modified sine wave, it's not great for sensitive electronics. So knowing you've got pure AC, 120 volts at 60 hertz with pure sine wave output means you can plug anything into those AC ports without worrying about it. In addition to that, you'll find a DC port on the front right there. 
And that's just like the port in your car. So anything you plug into your car, you can plug into that port. That'll provide 12 volts at up to 10 amps, which is a lot of current for a 12 volt outlet. So again, if you've got a car charger or something you're charging in your car, plug it in right there and you'll be good to go. You'll also find two 5521 barrel connections. Now, those are custom connections that you can use a, a custom cable with to charge external devices like a laptop or a phone or maybe a DVD player. But you can also find conversion cables that'll turn those 5521 uh, ports into another DC port. So you could actually plug two of those adapters in and have three of the DC ports. If you have a lot of things that you charge in your car, you can charge them off the DC circuit. And then finally, the USB charging is really good as well in this unit. So you've got three full-sized USB-A ports that are both, that are all, I should say, five volts and up to 2.4 amps, which is the highest amount of current you can get out of a standard DC charger. So when you plug in your wall charger at home, you can use this as that wall charger because that wall charger is delivering five volts and probably up to 2.4 amps. So plug in your phones, your tablets, your drone batteries, you'll be good to go. But the key is there's also a USB-C port on the front that is PD or power delivery capable, which means if you plug something in that's PD capable, like a phone or a tablet, that port will recognize the fact that it's got a PD uh, product plugged into it. It'll interrogate that product, figure out what the voltage and current is currently, and it'll adapt whatever it needs to on that port to quickly and safely charge that device. So if you've got a newer phone or a tablet, or if you've got drone batteries that use the PD standard, plug it in there, it'll fast charge those batteries. In addition to that, that USB-C port can deliver up to 100 watts of charging power, which means you can plug really big things into it, like a laptop, plug it in directly. You don't need to bring your laptop charger with you. You could plug in larger tablets, game consoles, drone batteries, all the things that need that 100 watt charging capabilities, that USB-C port provides that. One other key feature of this unit is the digital display up top, and that'll give you all the information you'll need to understand about the current status of the product. It tells you how much of a charge is left. When you're charging it, it tells you how much current's going in. It'll tell you how much current's going out when you're using it out in the field. It also estimates how much time you can use the unit on the battery charge that's left inside. So it gives you a lot of really good information. And the final thing I'd like to mention is the unit has an application you can use on your phone that connects over Wi-Fi that'll give you all the information from that front panel on your phone so you can have this in your tent or in the kids tent and you can tell exactly how much power is left on the unit so that's pretty much it for the review i think this is a great unit i've been using it for quite a while and it really does everything i needed to do out in the field so thanks an awful lot for watching and i hope you found this review helpful mm -hmm.